flexing four Gianos in the parking lot. Hanging with the dealers, I just went and bought another one. I just made a super stretch, think I need another one. The bougie got some super cat, I just bought another one. Automatic zipper clips, yeah, that's a super flex. About to turn up on my ex, yeah, that's a super flex. So, all right, gang, I know who it is, man. It's dropped once again. We're in the building with a little bit of drizzle. I'm going to give it to you as drizzle because as of right now, it's raining like hell wherever Puffy's at because as y'all see and as a lot of y'all have already read, heard, whatever the case may be, the feds has ran up in this dude, Los Angeles and Miami mansions. And, you know, once the feds get involved, it's a whole different ball game. We are not talking about, like, the little Miami police departments and the Los Angeles police departments and all that, fam. We're talking about the feds. So, I mean, it's a little bit uncomfortable for this dude right now. And I'm gonna make this. I'm gonna make this story short. I'm not gonna not gonna beat a dead horse. But I do want to clear something up because I've been hearing a lot of people say like his kids got locked up. Nah, y'all got to understand something. Just because y'all see people come out of handcuffs doesn't necessarily mean they are getting locked up which what they do on a high profile on a high profile case like that is when they make a whole sweep and this is what they do they go from room to room bathroom under the beds they're making sure everybody is out that crib and once everybody's out the crib you're being detained you're not being locked up so they end up releasing the kids they didn't lock the kids up even though his kids is grown but they didn't lock none of them up. What y'all seen on, on when the, you know, the news is the news, man. They're going to report it to make the shit sound bad. Even though what the hell they going through is some, is some bad shit. But they didn't detain them. I think, I mean, I, they didn't lock them up. I think that was just for them to detain. If you hadn't been in there, they'd have put handcuffs on your ass and had you sitting on the curb too. It don't matter if the maid, the lawn care people, you're getting detained until they find out who is who and what is what. Now, back to the story, though, man. At the end of the day, people asking me how I feel about this situation. I feel about this situation like everybody else do. It's a long time coming. People knew this shit, yo. People knew. People knew before Cassie. People knew. People knew when Puppy was running them kids to get cheesecake, making them walk 13, 14 miles. People knew. The same way people knew about R. Kelly, they knew. The same way people knew about Diddy. This, I mean, I hate to say it, but Cat was right. It seemed like 2024, this, whatever has been put in the dark, 2024 is bringing all that shit to light. I mean, because a lot of people knew this shit about Diddy, man. And what's crazy, and what is even more crazy, to see people promote the parties he had. Now, what they wasn't saying that he was giving underage kids alcohol and all that shit, all that shit came through Cassie and, and then the people. I don't even know if she said that, but... So many people jumped out the window after her. Chasing a bag, because come on, I honestly look at it like this. Why y'all didn't say nothing prior? Because it, uh, it took somebody else high profile like him for anybody really to pay attention to it in order for it to catch fire. So once Cassie got the ball rolling, that shit was a whole domino effect. Everybody wanted a piece of puppy money. I mean, and, and, and at the end of the day, they deserve it. If, they, if anything happened to them that that puppy did against some people will i feel they deserve their money puppy got it to give where he had it to give because as of right now you know how the feds work that billions of dollars he allegedly had i think they done seized all that so wherever they say he was at because i'm if i'm not mistaken i don't even think dude in like the states right now i think he's somewhere else i don't know how deep this i don't know how deep this shit go you know that the news blow shit up so you know they going to show the Show him running in and out of the man mansions and all that. And granted, that is a horrible situation, but I never heard one time that they was actually looking for him. And even though they will be, because <laughs> whoever this Gene Deal dude is, they've been saying Puffy got videos of him. They said Puffy like recording shit. See, that's the thing with, with that's what got R. Kelly fucked up. One thing about it, the government knew once you put a record in people's hands. <laughs> And one thing about it, they don't want to delete none of the bullshit they do. You would do a crime and keep it on your phone and, and, and keep it like a souvenir. They do what they do, being famous with a little bit of money, and they record shit. I mean, instead of you using your memory bank, you, your memory bank, you, you record shit and you want to go show it to your people five, six, seven, eight years down the line, not knowing eventually 
Anything can happen, B. Same thing with Diddy. And look who's up in his crib running around all up in his attic and shit looking for videos of people talking about he got. So, yeah, normal. I've always said, yo, and he's not the only one. You know, I don't really cover stories like this. I do when, it, when it's important because, see, Puff Daddy is the type of dude to live next door. He ain't got to have as much money as Diddy do. But your next door neighbor can have them same weird ass thoughts, B. That's what I be trying to tell females on. Like, you have to watch your surroundings. Like, watch who have you watch who you have around your kids, B. It be puff daddies everywhere. This world is full of puff daddies. They just don't have as much money. I mean, so do I think they're gonna roll they, he's gonna walk this one? This profile, this case is so high profile, you I'm thinking every news in America is covering this shit right now. They probably covering this shit over in Africa right now. And and, and all that's done too, because you know one thing about us, it, it, even if he is guilty, <laughs> guilty or not, they going to make us seem like we are the worst people with money ever. So they going to put him on every news broadcast in America. And Bill. Bill was out here dealing with old dusty people. It wasn't like he was doing nothing against these people, Will. Come on, man. That's why Bill stood on business. I don't care what nobody say. Bill knew what them people came to do. They came to party. And, and granted, you know, that's what Diddy did. He big on that party shit, too. So Bill is, Bill is R. Kelly and R. Kelly is Bill. They do the same thing. Them boys is big on partying. So when you attended a Bill party, you knew what you was getting yourself involved with. And when you dealt with, 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 with a Diddy party, you knew what you was getting yourself involved with. Now, with all that underage shit and then you trafficking people, now, Diddy, that's a whole different ball game. Now, what goes on at them parties, B, that, because them people, they, they be knowing what they, come on, man, Diddy didn't have his name. They know what goes on at these parties. If you don't want to go, you don't have to go. He can't make you do nothing you don't want to do. You feel what I'm saying? So, these people is conscience people. I mean, it wasn't like... But allegedly, he was drugging you before and then getting you there. You knew if you went, you had the possibility of getting drugged and whatever. This is what they was doing. I mean, Bill just happened to been in the 70s and Kells is, I mean, not even Kells, because you got to put him in there too. But Diddy came later. Diddy was in the 2000s. I mean, come on, man. They've been doing these same kind of parties for years. And let's not think white people don't have them parties too. But they just don't get blunt like we do for some odd reason because they party too. They really do. They party just as much as we do, if not more. But for some reason, they should stay under a little, a little bit more closed bracket than ours. You know, we too flossy with shit. And then you want to be flossy with dumb shit. Shit that don't even supposed to be legal and you being flossy with it. People ask him, did he questions about his past and... He's so nonchalant, homie. When people is asking you weird ass questions about certain shit, homie, you need to give a direct answer. All that nonchalant shit like you, nah, that's why you're in the situation you in. But y'all go check the news, man. Shout out to Academics, B. Act been running. I think Act been Academics been live, what, <laughs> three, four hours now talking about Diddy, man. I mean, but shout out to Act. That's why I got a little bit of my information. People don't like Act. But one thing I got to say about Act, though, he 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 pull up accurate numbers and then it, it, he he reaches a little bit and all that's on personal opinion. But when it come to numbers, he never come up with no lie. I mean, so shout out to Act. If you want to go find out more what's going on with Diddy, man, go watch Act. He doing a whole four hour live academics, man. He got like two or three channels. You'll find one of them. But like always, it's drop for the ones that care. Because, I mean, everybody going to be talking about this. Because at the end of the day, man, Puffy is an icon. He's a black guy. He, he really is, man. No matter what that man has done, he has put a lot of money in a lot of people's pockets. And I can't say what, no matter what he done done. But he has fed a lot of families. And he has took a lot of bread from people, too, allegedly. But from what I've seen, he's, he's fed a lot of people. I mean, it's just sad we go out in sad situations sometimes, but... When you when you do the shit you do, Diddy, you got to deal with the back end, yo. And this is your back end. The feds is walking through your house and your kids in the front yard handcuffed. And this is what happened. But like always, man, it's dropped once again. And 
Y'all stay safe. Keep your head on the swivel. Don't hurt nobody. Don't let nobody hurt y'all. Man, let them out, gang. Peace.